So, so, so. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you're returning, thank you for stopping by as well. Um, before we move on, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and um, so you can get notified every time I put a new video up. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made um, a mid skirt and like a very simple, um, I think it's called a cow neck top. Um, so initially I used um <clears throat> sorry my voice is like a bit down but yeah because I haven't been sleeping well but that's okay. I used um a pink fabric to make the style and then I realized when I was editing that I filmed at the wrong angle. But luckily I had like extra fabric um a piece of skirt that I needed to remodel. Um yeah, so I used that one. So it's basically the same style as the pink one, just the fabric has a different color. It's black instead of um, pink. So I get to have two tops of the same style, but like in different colors, which is basically half my closet anyway. And um, yeah, so that's basically what um, today's video is going to be about. But um, for the second skirts, when you see the final look of the pictures of both, for the second skirt, I made it a bit loose because like um, it had more fabrics. So I just wanted to be able to wear it to church um, instead of making it the usual very fitting form to show off my legs. But yeah, um, so yeah, in today's video, that's what we're going to have. Um, subscribe to my channel, hit the um, notification bell, share this video. Let me know what you think when you see the final look and yeah. First thing I do is put the skirt in such a position where I could see how much of it I will need and I troubleshoot the size and then I start undoing the parts where I think I'll need to fix because it's basically a skirt is just bigger. Um, yeah, so I'm going to undo it then take the elastic out as you can see and then I totally dismantle the entire skirt. So now I have three parts um, of the fabric, which is similar to what I had with the pink one. Um, I'm just going to put two of the skirts together, um, the bigger part and then the next, um, like the smallest part that I had. And then I'll just line them on top of each other and pin them to fit. I did not have to size down the waist part too much, I just made a little curve um, as compared to the hip part because this fabric was already like well sized. Unless you have a very huge difference between your hip and your waist then you'd have to like really do the curve for it to fit. So I paint the entire thing down and then measured the waist, it was fitting to size and then I went ahead and sewed both sides where the pins were. So for the skirts, I mean the first one I didn't really put an elastic so when I was putting it on the thread was like trying to snap but in the black um, fabric um, I put this black elastic there because I didn't want it to be too tight at the waist to the point I couldn't get it past my hip when I'm pulling it up so. So I first tried on the elastic to get the right stretch and then I checked for how far, um, how much fabric it would take if I was to fold it into it. This also gave me a chance to try the skirt on and check the fit. So next I put the elastic um, waist um, to create the waistband and then I make sure I fold the end of the fabric so it does not fray when I'm sewing over it or when I wash it after I wear it. I do this for the entire waistline, of course.
I then machine stitch over the part where I have the elastic in, making sure that I don't sew the actual elastic to um, join the fabric. I just did not want to. You could do it that way if you wanted to. I just did not want to do the waistline like that for me just because it's more comfortable. I leave a space within the waistline um, so I can take out the fabric and join it together and then put it back into the folded waistline and then fully close it. I mean the elastic. Okay, so this is the fabric I'm using for the top of the dress, um, yeah, of the entire set. Um, the length is already like good enough because it's not a very long top, so and it's like a cow neck, so the length is good enough. I just have to measure according to um, my bust and sort of like triangle shape it down a bit. This is like very basic beginner level, so do not expect any technical words. I'll try to make it as easy as possible to understand. So I'm just gonna turn it in the wrong side. And because I'm going to be cutting, I'm leaving the good side out. And knowing my size, this much should actually be enough. But as you can tell, this side of the dress goes down a little bit. So that works better for me since the front part is going to be longer anyway. So what I'm going to do is 30, just 30, or it ranges between 30 to 31. But uh, I'm going to give it an allowance of, um, say, an inch more. So I'm going to give it a 16, you know, you divide it into two because the fabric is folded. I'm not really worried about the slants here like this. So 16. Okay, so the bust is 16 um, and just past my bust is the, the length from my bust to under my bust is 8. So I put 8 on here. So this part of my body is like um, somewhere around 25, 24 um, inches. So I'm just going to do 25 and put 12.5 on both sides, making sure it's equal on the other end. And then next we're going to sew all of this.
Um, I also know you mostly should leave allowances like an inch or two when making a skirt but the second skirt that I made, the first, the pink one with the pink fabric, that was all the fabric I had. But with the black fabric, I didn't leave like that much allowance because um, the fabric was is pretty stretchy and unless like a huge miracle happens, I'm not gaining significant weight in forever. So yeah, that's why I just wanted to correct that in case you noticed and you were worried about that. I saw it too. Okay, so as you saw in the video, that's how I made it. Um, hopefully, it was easy enough for you to follow. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions or ways you thought I could have made it easier, you can just let me know in the comment section and let me know what styles you want me to um, DIY or make next. Um, let me know in the comment section and follow my Instagram, follow my social media, all at h.ayzel. Hazel. Hazel. Yes, so I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. When I wake up in the morning and my hair is all a mess I don't fret, I don't worry Pull up the button, then I'm gone In a taxi off to Osu My messy fur begins to shrink But I don't fret, I don't worry My quietly crowns get into